Good afternoon. Um, to the Good afternoon. Um, today, as you have figured out, the state made a motion to nolly-pross the charges against uh, Jussie Smollett and to seal the record in this case. Uh, we believe that it was the correct result in this case. We're very happy for this result, and we are very anxious for Jussie to get on with his career and his life uh, and to move forward. I'll take any questions. This is not, there is no deferred prosecution. The motion was to nolly pros, which is a legal technical term for dismiss the charges. Why did he give up? Uh, Jussie voluntarily agreed to the forfeiture of the bond money. So is this uh, We believe to the city of Chicago, but we don't know. So is this a deal or not a deal if he's giving up his bond? There is no deal. The state dismissed the charges. Would you have to the agreement? Uh, we have nothing to say to the police department except to investigate charges uh, and not try their cases in the press, uh, but to allow matters to be uh, investigated, allow the state to investigate and to bring charges and not to jump ahead and uh, utilize the press uh, to convict people before they are tried in a court of law. Are you going to seek legal recourse to the city or the two brothers? Next question. You, you won't say whether you'll seek legal recourse? Uh, I, I have no idea what occurred in this case and why it occurred. Uh, I can just say that things seem to spiral somewhat out of control. We've gotten to uh, a result that is the right result in this case, and we're happy for that. And has this conversation with the I have no idea. What? Um, plenty of people forfeit their bond in situations like this. Uh, Jussie is, and as uh, if you were in the courtroom, heard the prosecutor say, and we made sure that the prosecution knew. He is someone who has dedicated his life to public service since he was 15 years old. He, he has taken uh, the city of Chicago as his home. He has volunteered in a variety of ways. He is a good, solid citizen of the city of Chicago. That was the comment made by the prosecutor today. Superintendent, I think John said twice on camera that Jesse Smallman paid the Ocean Dorval $3,500 to carry out this post. What is your response to that? And the Ondero brothers said more than once that the $3,500 check they received was for exactly what Jesse said. It was for nutrition and training. They were his trainers. That statement was not true. <laughs> I don't know where the superintendent got that information. I was not privy to it, and quite frankly, have not seen that footage. So I have no idea where that came from, Are which you is why to... you should allow investigation and allow the state to to uh, investigate a charge before you go to so the press. There, I'm also I have no idea. Um, you know, I don't have information that the state would have as to why they brought these charges. I don't know. You You'd have to ask the state. To uh, the two men who attacked him have indicated that they attacked him. So we already know who attacked him. Those brothers have, uh, well, that's up to the state. To be clear, there's no condition of dropping the charges or getting no. that money? No. The two men who attacked so him, his brother, that? why is he doing it? Well, the two brothers have said that they attacked him, so, you know. If he's a victim, uh, we don't want to try them in the press any more than he wanted to be tried in the press. So why was the decision made to forfeit the bond to the city? Um, that decision was made so that he could go on with his life and get this over with and not have to fight and not have to continue with all of the um, disruption to his career. He is, he is a... Um, uh, and a very sweet individual who has for a lifetime dedicated himself 
to his career, to the public, to children, um, to the movement in the LGBTQIA community. And this was a disruption to that. He wants to get back to it. I'll allow you to hear from him briefly and then we're gone. Hey everybody, I just made a couple notes. Um, first of all, I wanna thank my family, my friends, the incredible people of Chicago and all over the country and the world who have prayed for me, who have supported me, who've shown me so much love. No one will ever know how much that has meant to me and I will forever be grateful. I want you to know that not for a moment was it in vain. I have been truthful and consistent on every single level since day one. I would not be my mother's son if I was capable of one drop of what I have been accused of. This has been an incredibly difficult time, honestly one of the worst of my entire life. But I am a man of faith and I am a man that has knowledge of my history and I would not bring my family, our lives or the movement through a fire like this. I just wouldn't. So I want to thank my legal counsel from the bottom of my heart. And I would also like to thank the state of Illinois for attempting to do what's right. Now I'd like nothing more than to just get back to work and move on with my life. But make no mistakes, I will always continue to fight for the justice, equality, and betterment of marginalized people everywhere. So again, thank you for all the support. Thank you for faith and thank you to God. Bless y'all, thank you very much. Jesse, you're still out there.